First of all, a very big shout out to ETA Prime for making this video here. You must have seen it. The video exploded, which means that basically a lot of people actually have interest in this kind of videos. And each time I see videos like this, I always want to take a look at it because first of all, I do sell office computers. And whenever I see an office PC being turned into a gaming PC, I always want to take a look because sometimes I just want to see how whoever is making a video was able to bypass some of the some of the proprietary conditions that these Office PCs actually have. You see, this is a Dell Optiplex uh, 7020 PC, and on the video from ETA Prime, he actually used a Dell Optiplex 7060, but the thing is, not the model that is of interest. This is kind of a genius uh, way to upgrade this PC because there are a lot of videos out there on YouTube showing you how to upgrade an Office PC. And once in a while, when I see this kind of video, like I said, I always want to take a look at it to highlight certain points, especially the areas where would have been a problem for you. But basically, I would like to keep PCs like this for exactly the function that it was made. It's an office PC, and it's always best to leave it at that. But it is what it is. These days, everybody wants to game on their office PCs. And little wonder why people are always looking at these videos, looking for a way to bypass some of the problems that you would have naturally encountered trying to upgrade these pieces but we have videos like this from eta prime that actually went ahead to show you step by step how you can actually upgrade this pc see right here like i said i have a dell up to play 7020 if you take a look at it it has the same build it's a small form factor pc like the 7060 pc that was used in this video all right i'm just going to be highlighting a few things and i'm going to go ahead and open the pc because i've been watching a lot of upgrade videos and basically, each time I see this PC being upgraded, people tend to use an adapter. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about recently. But then, whenever I see a new genius approach to doing this thing, I always want to show it to you guys. And this is the reason why I decided to stop by on this video. Just take a look at it. Comment on a few things. Perhaps you will find it valuable. First of all, it's a small form factor PC like you can see. If you are looking for something like this, beautifully built Dell Optiplex 7020 PC. You can actually go ahead to hardwaremoney.de and get yourself one of these PCs. See, yes, gaming on small form factor PCs is a thing. It's not going anywhere and it's going to be around for a very, very long time. If you know how to do these manipulations, it might just help you because for now, you might want to keep your PC as an office PC, but you never can tell. Perhaps in the future, you want to begin to dabble into the world of gaming so watching this kind of videos gives you some information you can actually keep in your tools box because you can never tell when you begin to need the information if you take a look at this pc it's all jam packed you see in the video that eta prime made he actually used a 7060 pc to game at 1440p which is kind of a thing if you want to slap in a regular low profile graphic card here then it's not a thing but when you want to do a dual bracket graphic card on this thing then you begin to encounter some problems and these problems were effectively resolved in the video that was made. If you look at this PC, there is absolutely no space left for you to do anything. Everything is so full, it looks so jam-packed. At first sight, there's just no way for you to go ahead and install an ROTS 4060 low profile graphic card on this thing. So you might wanna look at it and just tell yourself, it's not gonna be possible. But then at the end of this video, you actually see how it's going to be possible. Once again, thanks to ETA Prime because basically I would not have thought of something like this. Even though I know that you can actually slap in a graphic card here, I would not have thought of this approach. Like I said, this is an office PC. I basically want to leave it at that. All right. That being said, what he did in the video was that first things first, I'm just going to take this aside so that you can actually take a look and see exactly how this was done all right so the first thing he did was that he had to remove this back blend here basically if you have to install a graphic card on this small form factor pc it doesn't matter the kind of pc anyway you always have to remove the back blend because in this way you can actually go ahead and put in your graphic card but if, then if you take a look at the graphic card in question he used an rts 4060 graphic card which is pretty much wide and if you look at this pc it's just not going to fit in here so what he did do was to actually go ahead and take out the power supply. All right, in the video, everything was highly edited. So you really couldn't see exactly the problems that you face trying to remove this power supply. Here. And that's the reason why I'm also making this video to show you step-by-step step how you can actually do this. So to do that, first of all, you have to go ahead and take out your power supply. Take a look at the back of the PC. 
there are just three screws holding it so you have to take that out you have to uh, take the second screw out like that and then there is a last screw right here all right so that goes out if you have taken out the screws even then the power supply is still very much in place so the next challenge that you might possibly have if you are trying to turn this pc into a sleeper gaming pc is how do you take out this box here all right if you look it's like i said it's very very jam-packed one thing i would like to do is to take out the dvd drive just like that i'm gonna go ahead and unplug the sata cables and just have better access to the uh, inside of the pc if you look at it it still looks very difficult to take out. There is supposed to be a knob just right under this plastic cover. And if you can get hold of that knob, in this way you can actually depress it and then you are able to bring out the power supply. So I'm just going to take a screwdriver and try to uh, depress it and see if I can bring out all these cables here. If you don't bring out these cables, there's just no way for you to bring out this power supply. This is the plastic that holds it. And if you look closely, you'll be able to see the knob right there, all right? Having depressed that, I'm gonna go ahead and slide, slide the power supply. And then in this way, I can actually take out the power supply. It might be a little bit difficult, but if you're already used to handling uh, small form factor pieces like this it shouldn't actually be a problem so if you succeeded in taking this out then you now have enough space for your rotx 4060 graphic card to actually come here neatly installed but then the thing that actually caught my attention in this video was that if you go to the video you actually see that there was a possibility for him to actually power on this graphic card with a flex ats 400 watt power supply what a lot of you would have done is to actually look for an adapter, an adapter that you're going to try to uh, connect here or so and just try to manipulate your way through. The beautiful insight that he gave in this video was that look, you're going to be having a difficult time using this power supply because the power supply on this PC is just 200 watts and uses a dead proprietary uh, connectors. So he did go ahead to show us so you can actually buy this 400 watt flex power supply, which is kind of beautiful. This puts an end to any kind of problem that you would have had because there's just no way you can power an RTS using the proprietary power supply that comes with the Dell Optiplex 7020 small form factor PC. So this alone was a good information and I felt like I should share it with you because you might be having a problem. You might want to game on your small form factor PC, but then you do not have the idea of how to go about solving the power issues. The beautiful thing about this power, this flex power supply is that it's so slim that even when your graphic card comes here, you can actually go ahead and slide it just at the side of the PC there and everything looks so clean, so beautiful and you are actually good to go. But like I said in the beginning of this video, I would basically like to keep this PC as an office PC but then once in a while it's always good to have this kind of information because you never can tell when you will decide to go the way of gaming and want to game on your on your on your small form factor PC because perhaps you do not have the money yet to build a very expensive gaming PC or to buy a high-end gaming PC that's already been built by somebody out there. But if you have this information at your disposal, then you know that look with a mere tool like a screwdriver and a flex 400 watts power supply, as well as your RTS 4060, you can actually go ahead and game on this machine. But the problem that you might be having right now is that look. Everybody now knows that this is a possibility. Thanks to the video that ETA Prime has put out there that look, if I have a Dell Optiplex PC, and to be honest, this Dell Optiplex PCs actually has a very wide acceptability out there. A lot of people know about these PCs. If you go to the used markets today and you look at the PCs on display, you're definitely gonna be seeing a Dell Optiplex PC. But then this particular Dell Optiplex small form factor PCs that will enable you to turn into a gaming PC might be a little bit difficult to get. But then, like I said, if you go on to hardwaremoney.de, you'll be able to find this kind of PC already waiting for you that you can actually buy off, use it as an office PC, or but then if you want to game on it with the help of these videos and with the help of the procedures that you've seen right now, you can actually go ahead and do whatever you want. But truth be said, as more and more people are getting to use these PCs as gaming PC, they are going to be very, very hard to get. But then if you go on to hardwaremoney.de, 
you are sure that you will be able to get this PC. And not only that you will get this PC, you will get a Dell Optiplex PC in a very, very good condition, excellent condition, a PC that you can put on your table. And when you use it, people cannot just stop but ask you, how did you get this kind of nice looking PC? Because this PC in itself is supposed to be an older generation PC, but because of the processor that it has, all the more makes it very, very interesting. I hope this video helps you. If it did, drop me a comment and let me know the PC upgrade video you want me to highlight next. Until I see you again in the next one, peace.